Hello, today we're going to be building an ambient light sensor using uh, an Arduino. Um, all you need is a simple photo transistor to make the circuit run. I'm also adding an RGB LED to change color so that we can tell when uh, the sensor picks up uh, changes in light. So now we are ready to begin uh, making our circuit. Uh, the first thing we're going to want to do is connect uh, our 5 volt uh, power supply from the Arduino to the positive uh, voltage side on our breadboard. Uh, the next connection we're going to want to add is uh, another wire from ground on the Arduino to ground on the breadboard. So we'll add this wire here. Next, uh, we're going to add a potentiometer. Uh, you could use a simple resistor, but I'm going to use a, a pot just so I can uh, adjust the sensitivity of the phototransistor to the ambient light uh, available in the room. Um, so we want to connect uh, one of the terminals from the pot to the positive rail of our breadboard. And we're going to take another terminal from, or we're going to use a second terminal of the pot to connect uh, to our actual photo transistor. I'm going to move it a little bit further away from uh, where everything else is, so I'll use a little bit longer wire. Uh, now that we have our wire in place, we are ready to add our photo transistor. It's actually a two terminal device, and the flat edge is going to be our collector, and the other uh, terminal is going to be our emitter. Um, we'll just uh, connect the emitter uh, directly to ground and we have a complete circuit that goes from 5 volts through a resistor through the transistor and back to ground. Now we're ready to add our LED. I'm going to use a 4 terminal RGB LED. So we want to connect uh, one of the pins to red and one of the pins to green. I'm going to leave the blue open because we're not going to use it. Um, and then we have to connect uh, one of the terminals to the 5 volt rail. It's a little hard getting it into the socket because of the four terminals and they're all kind of close together and I should probably clip them at some point. but. Now that we have that in, we need to add uh, two resistors for the red and the green so that we can um, control uh, which color comes on using uh, the digital pins on the Arduino. So I'm just going to use uh, a couple of 1K resistors here. Um, you can adjust those for brightness. Uh, now I'm going to add our 5 uh, volt uh, connection, so I'm just going to run a wire uh, across our board to our 5 uh, volt supply on the other side of the, the breadboard. Now we're ready to make all of our connections to the digital pins on our Arduino, so we'll make one connection to the red. Uh, LED, a red pin on the three color LED. Um, if I get this in, next we'll add another uh, wire to connect another pin to the from the green uh, color on the LED to another digital pin on the Arduino. This way we can control uh, the colors red and green with the two different digital pins. Um, now we just need to make a connection from the uh, collector of the trans the photo transistor so that we can get a reading to detect how much uh, ambient light the sensor is currently picking up. So we'll take one wire from the middle of our potentiometer and we'll connect that to an connect that to another pin on our Arduino and our setup is now complete. The only thing left now to do is uh, program the Arduino 
so that it can so we can read what the phototransistor is picking up. So the simple code I put on the Arduino will keep the LED green unless um, it no longer detects the ambient light of the room. And as you see, as I wave my hand in front of it, the LED will uh, change colors. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe if you like or leave a comment to tell me what you think. Thanks. Bye.